Okay, so we just cut our hydroband board, Darren, so now what's going on here? So we've cut the hydroband board to size for the shower itself. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it into the shower where, where it's gonna uh, end up, obviously. Um, what you wanna do first is you wanna put a bead of caulking in the joint or the gap that's left by the, the hydroband shower pan. If you're using a mud set method for the shower pan itself, you could apply the caulking directly to that uh, using the gap that TCNA says that you do for hanging wall board. Um, in this case, we have a gap that comes uh, pre-fitted for the, the pan itself. Uh, so you fill that in with, with uh, the hydroband adhesive sealant, and then conversely, the, the return wall that the board is going to be stuck to. Um, and then you place that board into the seam, making sure that the hydroband adhesive sealant oozes out and has a good bond. Um, once we've done that, we will just take away any excess uh, caulking um, or hydroband adhesive sealant and move on to the screw penetration. Um, much, much the same way, you would fill those in with the hydroband adhesive sealant or hydroband if you'd like. Um, let that dry and you're ready to set tile. That's great. So we want to make sure that those uh, seams and those screw holes get covered due to? Due to penetration of water, yes. So any seam or penetration, or even if you, for instance, drop a screw onto the shower pan itself, um, that's easily fixed. You can either use the hydroband adhesive sealant to fill up that gap, or you can use hydroband. Right. And Darren, what about the drain? How do we address the drain? So the drain uh, would go in secondarily. You would apply it after the pan has been uh, placed down on the, on the, on the floor. Um, simply just make sure that your fitting to the exit is proper with the drain itself and then use the coupling to lock that into place. Right. And we sell the drains too. Yes, sir.